Hi guys, Scott Luther here and my name is Anil Deshpande. In the previous video, what we have basically done is we have defined the result receiver and then we have also written the code to what we should do once you get the address from the result receiver and we also wrote the code to start the intent service and we all did this in the activity. Now the remaining part is to actually start an intent service and get the address from the geocoder. So let's get into a demo. So this is the address fetcher service and this is what we will be implementing. So we will be receiving location here and we will also be receiving the result receiver. So we need to maintain two instance variables. So let me create private result receiver and then let me create a private location or let me call it as device location and then in the on handle intent we need to get hold of the result receiver this we can get it from the intent that is intent dot get parcelable extra and constants dot receiver these are the constants that have been defined in the interface here so let me split this screen if this result receiver is, is equal to null that basically means we can't proceed further I can just return but just to make sure that I understand what's happening let me log this so this logs a error message saying that result receiver not received and let's assume that we have a result receiver in that case we can get the device location intent dot parcelable extra constants dot and that we can get it from the location data extra and once again if device location is equals to null once again let me log a error message error location unavailable then return so basically i should not proceed and also you should send back a response back to the result receiver so what we will do is we will write a another private method let me call it as private void respond with result and it will contain a result code and result message we will be reusing this everywhere so here what we will do is we will create a bundle and to this bundle we put a string and the key is result data key that is constants result data key and the result message and then whatever the result receiver that we have we will use that instance variable and then send the first argument is result code which we have got here and then bundle and this will send the result back to the result receiver in the main activity so we can use this method here respond with result and here since we don't have the device location it will be error code so constants failure result and then i can basically send the error saying that the location is unavailable uh, i already have this defined here so get string r dot string dot error location unavailable so if you are going beyond this point that basically means you already have the device location and the result receiver properly and this is where you go ahead with the geocoder so let me get a geocoder new geocoder pass this and the default locally dot get default and then let me create list of addresses initially it will be null and then addresses is equal to geocoder dot get from location and as you can see here the first argument is latitude which i can get it from get device location dot get latitude and device location dot get longitude and max results let me put it as one here and as you can see here there is a unhandled io exception so let me put this under try catch block then catch io exception and here if address is not equal to null and address dot size is equal to zero no no what i mean to say is if address is equal to null and address size is equal to zero that is basically an error message and else we have to basically process the address further let me log here tag get string r dot string dot error address unavailable and respond with basically failure that is constants dot failure result and once again i will send the same string as the second argument and i will have to basically return else we will have to fetch the address from the whatever the address list that we have well to do that let me create a string builder call it as address string i'm using the string builder because 
it will be easy to append the strings that I will be passing from the address array, address list I mean. So let me get as address, sample address or what I can do is let me refactor this and call it as addresses because it is a list and here let me call it as address is equal to addresses dot get zero because I am expecting only one single result and then for int i equals to zero i is less than address dot get max line index that is how many lines are there in the address and then i plus plus address string dot append address dot get address line i so that should give me all the addresses and then just append it with multiple line characters if there are multiple lines here and then finally i will once again use respond with result and here i will say constants dot success result and address string dot to string and that will send the address back to the main activity and when i receive in the main activity here if you observe i check what is the result code and if it is a success i fetch the location address from the result data update it in the text view and set the is address requested to false and then make the color of the text view to green and if it is failure then I basically make the color of the text to red and the result data key will basically contain the error message. So let's go back to the address fetcher service. Okay, I think we will also have to do something when an exception happens. Let me log this get string r dot string. There is a string error exception while getting address. I will log that and once again respond result with failure result but this time I will use this exception error message and that's it we are basically done with our implementation so just if we run this so as you can see that it is basically now loading the map and now it has recognized the location and now let me click on the button and when I click on the button it gets the address and it happens pretty seamlessly so what I suggest is you download this particular code debug it to basically understand the flow of the logic between the activity and the address fetcher service with this i end the reverse geocoding topic and in the next video when we meet on building location aware apps i'll be talking about something new so stay tuned that brings us to the end of this particular video don't forget to like comment share the video and subscribe to the channel take care bye